Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to do a real quick video and show you how you can use your bezels for RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi obviously and I'll show you a couple places you can download a couple bezel packs. For this video I'm going to be using Phil's Doodles Retrorama overlay pack which is pretty awesome and I'll put a link in the description to his video where you can download that. And then I, I also will put a link to Mr. Harrius's collection. He made a collection of bezels, and he does have a video up on that, and I'll, I'll post a link to that as well. So you could choose, take a look, pick what you want to use, or if you already have a pack, this is how you're going to go ahead and go about it. So if you're not familiar with WinSCP, this is what I am going to use to connect to my Pi through my desktop in order to transfer over some files. And I've done plenty of videos on WinSCP, but it is pretty simple. If you don't already have it, download it. We're gonna go ahead and open her up. Host name, we're gonna need to put our IP address from our Pi. And if you don't know what your IP address is, you'll simply go to your RetroPie configurations and go toward the bottom and there will be a spot that says show IP. Our username is going to be pi, password raspberry. Go ahead and allow that to connect. And then on our PC side, the left side is going to be our PC side. We're going to go ahead and navigate to where we know we have our bezels. And like I said, I'm going to use the Retrorama bezels. On our pi side, we're going to want to navigate back up, go down to OPT, RetroPie emulators, RetroArch, overlays. And as you see, I already have all these files transferred over, but all you'll simply do is highlight everything on the left from the PC side. After you've navigated to where you have these files, you just go ahead and drag, select them all, drag and drop over, and then you'll be good to go. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Pi and I'm gonna show you how you can set these. This is just gonna be one way. So let's go ahead and jump back to the Pi. Okay guys, so now that we're on the Pi, what we're gonna do is find whatever system we want to set our bezels to. So for example, Arcade, and we'll just pick something, something random, I guess, I don't know. Go ahead and pick The Simpsons. Let that bad boy load up. And as you see, I already have my bezel set for the most part. But how you're going to do this is you're going to press Select and Y to get into RetroArch. Go down to Settings. Go down to On-Screen Display. Now on this part, go to On-Screen Overlay. Overlay Preset. And you'll go ahead and hit A on there. And that's where you will select whatever system that you have a bezel for you know they could be systems or just little custom bezels whatever the case may be but you'll go ahead and pick it from here and it'll be the cfg file that you're selecting so let's just change it to the fba one just to see the change so we selected our overlay preset now the next thing you can do you can go through and select your your overlay for every game that you play every time you turn it on if you so choose but if you just want to set it and forget it, go ahead and select your, your overlay. And then from there, from there, we'll go ahead and go back to quick menu, go down. Now you can choose save core overrides or save game overrides. Depending upon which one you select, it's going to save it differently. If that overlay we set, we want to use for every game in that system that's listed below, FB Alpha, and then you'll save it as a core override. If you want to save it per game, then you'll go to save game override. Now, what I like to do is find one that I want for that particular system that I think is going to work for the majority of the games, and I will save the core override for that system. Now, for example, you'll have vertical shooters and other things like that that might not look exactly right in there, for that, I'll set them individually and I'll save the game override. So that's pretty simple. 
the only other thing you could possibly come up on is that your display doesn't look right. So what you would do is go to settings and go to video and go down the aspect ratio. Now you can change the aspect ratio th throughout. You know, there's tons of options here, but typically I would leave it to core provided. But if for some reason it's not exactly fitting in the bezel, custom typically works but these are going to be your options to go through and once you've set it you can just go ahead and go back go to quick menu and save your core game overrides your core or your game overrides and then you'll be pretty much good to go so i hope this video helped you guys if you appreciate it please smash that like button subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and with that said i will catch you guys next time boom